Okay. Hello. <laughs> all right. So as you all know, my name is Taylor Brooks. I'll be um, discussing predicting the functions of universal stress proteins, focusing on the bacteria Actinomyces. Can you speak closer? Oh, Just sorry. the microphone a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd it go? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, we gotta use the buttons on here. I figured it out. Okay, gotta use that. Yep. Cool. Sorry. No all right. I first like to brief you all on universal stress proteins. The protein family is able to assist um, various bacteria, such as various organisms like Actinomyces, in surviving in unfavorable conditions. Um, for example, extreme temperatures. Actinomyces is able to survive in multiple sites of the body. All right, here's an illustration that shows the function of six USP genes in E. coli. The goal of our research is to predict the functions of universal stress proteins in actinomyces. I'm sorry, you guys. It's not me, it's the mouse. <laughs> All right. Therefore, we viewed the domain organization to obtain the number of USPs. This is significant because, as you can see, the second line, it shows double USP domain, which shows the formation of biofilm. The first illustration here at the top is from BioPsych. Um, we're able to study the transcription unit, um, its genes in its genome. And the second illustration is from IMG, where you can see the red rectangular, red rectangle, um, which shows the chromosomal cassette where the universal stress protein is housed in its gene adjacencies. Which leads us to our first approach. We use IMG to extract data of our genome of interest, actinomyces, where we were able to organize each genome in Excel and study how the gene was transcribed. So the gene before the universal stress protein was marked one, if it was um, going in the same direction as the universal stress protein, or if there was you know, a gene present, and zero for a gene not being present, and, or if it's going in the opposite direction of the universal stress protein. Um, second, we used the visual analytics tool where we were able to see the gene neighborhood analysis. Um, the visual analytics tool is known as um, Tableau. Um, of this distribution of binary encoder operonic arrangement patterns, patterns of the gene for axinomyces universal stress protein. Um, you can see the red arrow where it shows how it, you can see a four, um, four gene operon where it has a putative toxin um, and a sugar transporter before the universal stress protein and amylosucrase. Uh, we use this from BioPsych where we could better understand the function of the gene that was transcribed. Um, this specific one is called actinomyces oral taxon where it is in the dental cavity where it forms abscess. I like to thank National Science Foundation, um, ISMB, Function Kazi Organizers, Bethune Cook University, National Science Foundation, HBCU UP, U.S. Department of Energy, U.S. Department of Education. Thank you. Can you just say about the number of your posters so we can? Oh, uh, yes. I'm not so sure. Or, do you know it? Poster A171. Okay, thank you very much. So, um, we do have even a time for a quick question. Anybody has one? If not, we can end the poster session. Please do. Uh, so, our third uh, presenter.